Peace and life family, I hope that you are well. So I wanted to record this video about my locks. I get a lot of questions about how are my locks received in the workplace. So I am an educator and I have freeform locks. I go to work, I just actually got off work. I show up to work dressed just like this, right? So head wraps, everything, jewelry, I have tattoos, they know I have tattoos. Um, and I come to work dressed just like this. Um, and I, let me take off my wrap so you guys can actually see my locks. So I wear my locks down, I wear head wraps and all of that stuff, right? Um, to work, to interviews and everything. Um, when I first, I started working with the Department of Education when I first moved back to New York City. And when I was working with the Department of Education, that's when I was just, just starting my freeform journey. I had a very low blonde Caesar. So if you don't know, or if you're new to my channel, I started freeforming my hair back in 2014. I shaved my head bald and started from scratch. So by the time I started with the DOE, which was September of 2014, I had like a very low blonde Caesar tattoos everywhere with summertime I went on my interview with I had on like a um not a sleeveless I guess you call it this it was like a peplum top but it was like it didn't have sleeves but it, had, it was like fitted flared the peplum tops you know my ladies know what I'm talking about so I had one of those on all my tattoos were out I have tattoos all the way up my arm I have a tree here I have a tattoo here everything went tattoos out gauges in uh low blonde caesar and i got hired when i got hired with the doe my second year um i had gained uh i had earned a very positive reputation uh i was working with kids who just came home from rikers so they had just they were fresh out of jails prisons in new york city it was rikers horizons crossroads multiple jails and prisons in new york and they would get out and they would come to me. I was on the first floor of the probation building in Manhattan, right? Um, and I had a lot of people didn't think that I would do well because I was young. I was 23 years old at the time. And I was a new teacher in the classroom. And they was like, oh, that girl is going to fail. Well, I was killing it. And I earned a very positive reputation. And it wasn't until then that someone made a comment about my appearance. And it was the guidance counselor. And she said, honestly, she was like, girl, I'm so glad that you are doing well because when we first saw you walk in PD, which PD is professional development, where all the teachers in the whole district get together. She was like, when we first saw you walk in PD on that first day, we was like, what the hell is she doing here? Blonde hair tattoos? Like, girl, they just hiring anybody. And that's the comment that she made. But this was two years after I knew this woman. And I had no idea that she felt like this, that she thought like this. I mean, of course, naturally, you hear people say like, oh, um, people with tattoos or people with like colorful hair, locks, whatever, whatever. You hear the stereotypes, but I had never heard it firsthand. So that's the only time that I ever heard that anyone doubted my ability based on my looks. However, the key lesson in that is that I proved them wrong right so she was actually like in a sense praising me like girl I'm glad you did well because honestly we doubted you because of how you looked but I never had anyone to my face tell me anything about how I looked other than that I never had anyone tell me anything about my locks um but I'm also very upfront about my appearance so anytime I do interviews, if it's on an over the phone interview, I always ask, is there a dress code? Because I refuse to follow a dress code. I dress how I dress. I'm a very like colorful, funky dresser. You know what I'm saying? So I do what I do. Um, and I t I'm very honest and open about that in every single interview. So I'm always very upfront about my appearance. So my first couple of questions, when they say, do you have any questions? I'm like, is there a dress code? And what is the dress code? Okay, well, this may not be the position for me because this is how I like to dress and this is what I like to do. I have locks, I have tattoos, would that be a problem? I always ask those questions up front because honestly, I don't ever want to work for a place where that would be a problem. I never want to work for a place where they'll tell me, oh, you can't have locks or you can't be a freeformer or you got to look a certain way in order to be here. Because I don't feel like any work environment should be necessarily about how you look. I feel like it should be about can you do the job well? Can you perform? Can you exceed, not just meet, but exceed expectations, right? So I've always been well received, but I think it's because I come in as my 100% authentic 
authentic self. Once again, when I show up to interviews, I don't take out my piercings. I don't try to hide my locks or anything. I show up locks down or head wrap on, piercings, tattoos showing, because I want them to know this is exactly who and what you are getting. However, I will say this. I also got a bomb ass resume, okay? <laughs> like, not trying to gas it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I got the juice, you know? So if you got the juice, if you're good at what you do, once again, how you look should not matter. And when you can show like, look, these are my numbers, these are my scores, this is what I do, these are my degrees. And aside from just degrees, but this is how I perform in any and every space that I'm in. Here are my references. You can ask about me, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you can do that, how you look honestly does not matter to people from my experience. I've never had a negative response to my appearance, especially once people see me in a classroom setting, in any type of educational space. Once they read my resume, check my references, they automatically know that like, okay, clearly she could deliver. So, you know, so I think when, my motto is show up and show out. Okay, that's my motto. Show up and show out. And I think when you are able to show up and show out, how you look is not necessarily that important to people. It's about how you perform. So, overall, no, I haven't had any negative perceptions about my locks in the workspace. No one has ever said anything about me freeforming. I get questions like, um, do you ever twist your hair? I have to get that from like coworkers, from kids, but I don't think it's about I think that's just curious because I get questions like, um, do you twist your hair? Like, how do you grow your hair like that? I never see you with your hair fresh twisted, like questions like that, which I think some people probably may consider like somebody trying to throw shots, but I never feel that type of energy. I'm an energy oriented person and trust and believe if it was that type of energy, I would, I would know. Okay. Cause I'd be, I'm wait, I'm wait, you know, <laughs> but really I just never get that type of energy about my locks. Like, People more or less just ask out of curiosity, um, especially kids and stuff like that. They just want to know, like, how did you do it? How did you grow them? How do they lock up without being twisted? You know, things like that. But I don't really get that many questions. In regards to my tattoos and stuff, I keep pointing over here. I keep forgetting I don't have any tattoos over here. But I have tattoos here, here. Um, as, as far as my tattoos, people more or less just want to know the meaning behind my tattoos, which I'll do a separate video on before y'all comment, okay? Because I have seen comments about my tattoos. Yes, I will do a separate video about each one of my tattoos. I just have over 20 something and yeah, I'll explain all of them in a separate video. But I do get a lot of questions about like, what's the meaning of your tattoos? Kids especially want to point them out and want to know what this means. I have like a dink riz up my arm, going all the way up my arm. So things like that. But yeah, I never get like negative responses. But once again, I shows up and shows out, okay? Now, um, and once again, I'm a free former. My brother, he has traditional locks. And my brother, he was working for... I probably could say it because he doesn't work there anymore. He was working for Greyhound at one point. He was a manager for Greyhound. And he now works for a very popular uh, credit company. I don't want to say their name. But he works at, a, at the headquarters for a very popular credit company. And he is in a higher position for that credit company. And my brother has locks. And he has very long locks. I think my brother's been locking. I'm five years in. My brother has to be about eight years in now. But his locks are like to, to his butt. He has traditional locks, cultivated locks. They are beautiful. I'll insert some pictures and videos and stuff. Um, and his wife, yes, wife, his wife, I'll insert a picture of her too right here somewhere. <laughs> his wife helps maintain his locks. He has beautiful, long cultivated locks. And my brother, I asked him like, does anyone say anything about his locks? And he said, no. I remember when he was working at Greyhound, he did say that his manager was like, um, she doesn't mind him having locks as long as he keeps them neat. That's when he was first starting when he was younger. And she was like, she doesn't mind him having locks as long as they stay neat. Um, now I don't know, as a free former, I don't know how I would have received that because I'm like, what is neat? But my brother, it didn't matter for him because he wanted traditional locks anyway. He kept his locks neat. His locks are gorgeous. And he said he's never had a negative response to his locks. More than anything, he gets a lot of praise for the beauty of his locks. Um, so I think more than anything, my biggest advice would be if you have locks and you are in a professional workplace setting, don't be so much concerned about how you look. Be more concerned about how you perform in a workplace setting. Be more concerned about, am I 
going above and beyond the expectation? Am I exceeding expectations? Not do I look like I can meet the expectation. Not do I look like can I fulfill the requirements, but can I show up and show out? Can I show that I can fulfill the requirements to be here? Can I show them that ain't nobody else better for this position than me? I believe that you got to carry yourself like you know you are royalty, honey. You already got the aesthetic, okay? Watch my video, The History of Locks. We do this. Okay, this is a sign of power. This is a sign of royalty from ancient times, BC, okay? We've been on this. So when you are carrying this power with you, baby, you got to walk in the room powerful. You can't walk in the room like you doubt yourself, okay? Because if you doubt yourself, other people will doubt you. You got to know that you got it, okay? And you got to act like you know you got what it takes. You doubt yourself, other people will doubt you. You're a king, baby. You're a king, honey. A king. You're a queen, sister. All right, your royalty says, hold that hat high. Be proud of that jewels that's on this crown, baby. Remember, this is not your crown. These are the jewels on your crown. Your crown is within. Okay, your crown is within. These are the jewels on your crown. Rock those jewels proudly, baby. This is power. This is wealth. Act like you know you got it. <laughs> Peace and light family. I hope this video was helpful. Much love, much light. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Peace.